okay. I just, I just, I, okay. My love has grown again because, okay, listen, I'm a huge, huge 21 Pilots fan and I have been for a long time now. They just leaked another song. And I've already listened to it, but I kind of want to talk about it. It's called Heathens, and a heathen is someone who's not part of a big group. I have mixed feelings about the song. On one hand, it's like, you're right. You know, Tyler, you're right. But on the other hand, it's like, why is this something we have to talk about? Let's just go through the song. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. The whole theory behind it is that the friends are the fans and it's talking to new fans because they've been on the radio a lot and they're getting really big and it's weird. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. A lot of the older fans are kind of are kind of rude to um, new fans. It's a big problem that uh, people need to get worked out. Watching a band grow up, it's a journey. It's kind of hard to see people love them who don't know no, no, the half of it, but like, you can't do that, you know? If they're growing and becoming successful, you can't let them not have that. The music was there for, it started for him to make and it was, it grew. You know, now here we are, as they keep growing and like they're learning and everyone's learning. It's just so ridiculous that it ended up having to be written like that. It's kind of sad. But I mean, what Total Pass song isn't sad? I haven't been able to figure out if it's directed towards if it's a warning to us or if it's a warning to new fans. Either way, I like it, but I don't. This is just what I've interpreted and what I've heard other people's interpretations. It sounds like he's saying, you know, everyone deals with their own problems just because they haven't been here the whole time doesn't mean they're not dealing with their own stuff. Which makes sense. People in the fan base are just kind of crazy. The bigger Toy and Pirates are getting, it's like, kind of, it's getting ridiculous. But again, this is where it loses me because he says, Welcome to the rooms of people who have rooms of people that they loved one day. Which, okay. Just because we check the guns at the door doesn't mean our brains will change. Just because we checked the guns at the door doesn't mean our brains haven't changed from hand grenades. And that says a lot. I think it's saying just because we're here, if the music makes us feel safe and comfortable, and like we have somewhere to be, it doesn't mean we've changed. And I don't know how I feel about that, because isn't it all about dealing and learning, when to me that just makes it sound like no one's gotten anywhere. I just, I just don't think that's what it's about. And after our life said, please don't forget, all my friends are here. Okay, in the second verse. Oh. They say newcomers have a certain smell. Yeah, trust issues, not to mention. They say they can smell your intentions. You we don't deal with outsiders very well. They say newcomers have a certain smell. You have trust issues, not to mention. They say they can smell your intentions. Who is he saying you to? That's what I want to know. You have trust issues, but who? Us or the new fans? It's, anyway, so I just... Ugh. One more thing. Does anyone else think that Blurry Face has any part in it? Like you hear like the lower blurry face voice saying watch it throughout the whole song but then there's this like really high-pitched voice and to me this is just what I interpreted just so you know this was me going in circles in circles and then in more circles but maybe the higher voice was like new fans and they were like please let us in let us in to click he's saying all my friends are heathens take it slow and then blurry face is like watch it it only makes sense in my head I swear Okay, and this is the part where the more I think about it, my brain starts going in circles and I don't know what even life is anymore. 
this is the part where I'm like, I still don't know who he's talking to. Someone else I talked to about it said it was about the music industry and I was like, have you heard Lane Boy? Why'd you come? You knew you should have stayed. Is he saying that to like the older fans? Like, why'd you come? You knew you should have stayed. I tried to warn you just to stay away. Who did he warn? Was he warning us to not be so rude and like condescending and stuff? Or is he saying that he warned the new fans to take it slow? They ran away from it and then they're like ready to bust and it looks like he might be one of us. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Overall, I really do like the song and I don't not like 21 Pilots. But to all old fans, chill out. It is kind of weird though because like in older songs you always hear Tyler being talking about the radio. This might, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying. Old fans need to chill out. New fans, welcome. Let's just all be a beautiful 21 Pilots fan base click together. Love 21 Pilots together because isn't that kind of the point here? This has to mean that there's a new album, right? Because I think it is going to be a song in the Suicide Squad. Is it a movie? I don't know what it is. Um, but I, I feel like it's going to be another album. <sighs> anyway, if you have any other ideas or theories, please let me know about them because I would love to talk about this with someone and sort things out because it's a mess. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.